Hey guys, Dave Womack here from Bird Tricks all the way down in Australia and today we're going to be talking a little bit about sulfur crested cockatoos. But first, let's see them play. So you guys have asked about the size difference between galahs and sulfur crested cockatoos. He's in the low 800 grams, and this one's 300, maybe mid 300 grams. <laughs> All right, so we interviewed you guys, and right now I'm going to be answering some of your questions, because Jamie's terrified. Hey guys, fun fact, Jamie's terrified of white cockatoos. <laughs> we didn't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, take it. All right, on the crazy cockatoo spectrum, how crazy are sulfur crest cockatoos? This crazy. If you're wondering what they're like compared to other cockatoos, I am too. They hold a grudge. <laughs> they get scared by their own poop. Oh, if your face is too close, they whack you in the face when they flap. Are they easier to read because of the crest? I would have to say probably not because sometimes the crest might be excited, it also might mean you're about to die. Kinds of they are much louder than galahs. So yes. <laughs> Just like with your umbrellas or your malucans, malucans, <laughs> or you know that you're highly food motivated. They're very treat motivated, as you can tell. They will take any amount of treats for training. This one's favorite is an almond. <laughs> that almond. <laughs> okay, hold on. Seriously, we're never gonna get no through crap. this video. <laughs> Cockatoos are very difficult to have in captivity because of how loud they are. So unless you want to get evicted, probably don't live in an apartment. So you'll notice that this particular sulfur crested cockatoo is showing signs of being plucked. Uh, in the wild, this may look like beak and feather disease in Australia, but this one has a long history of different adoptions, and so he's actually a plucked bird, not any sort of relation to beak and feather. He wants to kill me. Or they might pick their favorite person or their least favorite person. In this case, I'm on that list. So how are they so cute? I don't know. <laughs> I think people find them very adorable because they're one of the birds that's more prone to being cuddly. And look at how animated they are. You can't help but fall in love with some of the characteristics until you get to know what those characteristics actually lead towards. 
then you can make an educated decision on if you want to keep these guys or your face. Is this a tame cockatoo or a wild one? Well, he's captive bred, if that's what you mean. And he's tame with his favorite person, wild with his least favorite person. <laughs> he just wants to eat me. What kind of bird do you have, Dave? A good one. And look, it talks on cue. <laughs> do you recognize him from TV? And what about this guy? See what you did there. Oh my god. <laughs>